Hey everybody, Rob Cohey here to talk a little bit about what we have new in Inventor 2011 when it comes to visualization. Now, new in Inventor 2011, we have ambient shadows, we've got reflections, object shadows, and multiple visual styles right inside the modeler. So as you can see, as I cycle through the reflections, as I turn on a ground plane, you're going to get a better orientation of the model as it's relative to, say, a ground plane, something like that. Now, also, I've got multiple visual styles right here in the modeler. So as you can see, as I cycle through these, shaded with hidden edges, go down here, wireframe. Now, some of these are going to work better with parts than they will assemblies, obviously. But as we cycle through, you can kind of see the results of having these multiple visual styles. Monochrome looks great. And there's even one for hand-drawn illustrations very handy tools that allow you to to just save off those images very quickly and easily as opposed to having to go through a render process to get those results now let's talk a little bit about adding some high quality visual materials now in Inventor 2011 as well as the other 2011 line of products so Max and Revit and such we, we have we now have a single Autodesk material library which means that I can pull from that and when I save this off and, and send it over to Max if you will when I open up this uh, this assembly in Max, then that blue anodized that I just applied to this part is going to be blue anodized in, in, in Max or Showcase, right? So let's go ahead and apply yet another material that we brought in uh, from our new material library uh, and make this look like it's kind of braided chrome, if you will. Zoom in there a little bit, get the effect, and sure enough, it looks like braided chrome. Now, in addition to all the things I've previously talked about, we also have the ability to control lighting right here in real time. So as I move these sliders back and forth, you're able to see the effects on the model in real time. It's not like you have to adjust the light, save it, and then re-render. Now, that re-render process, as you know, may take a very long time. All this is in real time, in ambient shadows right here inside the modeler. So when I go to rotate this thing around, all of these things are going to update the effect of the light and everything is going to update in real time. You don't have to go out and render an animation to see the effect of lighting or shadows on your model. It's right there inside the modeler. So I'm going to go ahead and bring in an environment as well. And as you can see, the lights from the environment also affect your model. So as they rotate around, you're going to see the lights hitting the model, the shadows updating, all of this again in real time. Now I mentioned we have a single material library. So what that means is, let's go ahead and section this out here. Now when I take it over into Showcase, all my materials come across. Take this over into Max, as you can see all my materials come across. Very nice and handy tools for Inventor 2011 when it comes to visualization.